Welcome to a beautiful spring day in the driveway. We're going to change the oil in a 2012 Mazda 5. We got five quarts of Zero W20 synthetic motor oil, Motorcraft FL910S oil filter, <clears throat> 14 flute 74 millimeter oil filter wrench, 17 millimeter socket, the usual. Uh, assortment of lubricants, chemicals, cleaners, rags, etc. Magnetic pickup tools, tweezers. Quick note about safety. I put the car up on my 6,000 pound Blitz Rhino ramps. Uh, before every use, I inspect them for cracks or damage, anything that would cause a problem. Your life is on the line. Take a minute and make sure you're working safely. So we got the front end up on Rhino ramps to give the clearance I need to get under it. Got the keys right here that are in my pocket so nobody else can start it up while there's no oil in the engine. So we're here under the car and they did a really nice job with the cutouts in the belly pan. You got one here directly under the oil uh, filter and right back here there's one directly under the oil pan. Very handy. Thank you Mazda slash Ford engineers that figured harder than I thought it should be to come off, but I am the only one that's changed the oil on it, so i got no one to blame but myself. Eighteen foot-pounds torque on this. So that's snug and click. There we go. So, now we have the Ossenmacher Specialty Tools M0219 Made in USA 14 flute 74 millimeter oil filter wrench. There, that's loose. <clears throat> Now's the part where the oil drips down your arm. Uh-huh. Perfect. All right. Got everything back together, full of oil. Run it for a couple minutes, make sure there's no leaks coming out the bottom. Very important because if you accidentally leave a uh, filter gasket on there, it won't seal, it'll spray out all the oil. We let it drain back down, and now we'll check the oil level again. Just up to the second hole. Perfect. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns.